no. Hello, everybody. Hello, sustainable friends. Welcome uh, to this uh, new interview brought to you by the World Sustainability Organization and Foundation. We are live from our flagship store, Sustainable Friends, right uh, in the center of uh, Milan uh, shopping district, uh, here downtown near San Babila in Galleria Passarella 1. So, uh, interviews focus on uh, professionals in the world of uh, conservation or sustainability and also artists. And so it's a pleasure for me to have here with us uh, today Jena Cruz, uh, also Federico Massa. Hello, Jena, how are you? Hey, hi, hello, Paolo, and uh, thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure. Like, it's a pleasure for me as well. So, so Jena is a famous uh, uh, muralist. He lives in New York, he's from Italy. But uh, Jena, tell us a, a bit more about your uh, uh, career, how it all started and where you stand now. Yeah, thank you for asking. Like, uh, yeah, my uh, career started with graffiti. Wow. Okay. So in the street of Milan, my hometown. So um, it was a natural evolution for me between like graffiti, street art, and then large screen murals. So it's a escalate a little by little by time, and uh, I made it my style more perfect, and also the research of what I was trying to say with my art. So um, at one point, uh, I start uh, questioning myself and mostly myself on my action planet and uh, honestly looking what was going around and uh, the impact that the human being had on the planet. So I start, uh, I always been attracted about nature and animals, so I decided uh, to kind of give a voice, the voice to them. So oh, I yeah. start including uh, endangered species of animals uh, in a the empowerment of nature, and that became my idea of making art to uh, send a message and make my art for a purpose basically so you collaborated also with uh, other NGO right yes I'm uh, carefully choose to who I gonna work with okay. and uh, luckily I've been work uh, with uh, different entities that are caring as well as me, myself on sustainability and the uh, our action on uh, on through art basically. So I've been in the past. I work uh, with uh, Urban Twenty to create like uh, one thousand square meter murals in uh, in Rome. I did work uh, in two thousand nineteen with the World Rise Olus, along with. Uh, Ocean Family oh, yeah. Foundation. We know them. They're they're a great organization. Yes, and I agree, hundred percent. It was a beautiful uh, project. Uh, we were talking about the problematic of uh, the plastic in our ocean, with the idea that the sea start exactly from the city where the we city. live. Yes, right. and so this uh, is a mural that is here in Milan, uh, in Lambrate. It is a. Uh, and my mural, uh, since uh, uh, 2018, I stopped mostly with spray cans and I use now like a different medium that is a special paint, a nanotechnology paint, that uh, has this incredible uh, functionality of absorbing pollution from the air. Wow. So the paint uh, along with my vision and the message is helps each other technology and art combines together for the same purpose of like sending out a message so are you aware that other street artists or uh, painters are using also these uh, type of paints because it makes sense uh, i think 
I, it, it does make sense and I wish like more and more will use it, but uh, there are many artists out there that uh, with their own medium, they are trying to talk about serious problematical issues that yes. we are facing now. And so that's, I think, is the beauty and the power of art that is able to transmit uh, an emotional feeling and a message so to contaminate other people. Great. And in, in that regard, what, what is the action of the uh, public uh, that, uh, or the people which visit uh, your um, art shows or which uh, do? Uh, do you think there's uh, already a growing awareness of these issues or do you think there's uh, still a lot of uh, space for improvement? Well, let me start. There is always space for improvement and we must improve always. Um, I think the public art has uh, this power of just being in the street, available for everybody. Like, uh, so everybody that just passed by without being an art expert, a collector, or if they can just enjoy it. That's the beauty. And uh, painting murals is very beautiful because you get to interact with people. Yeah. When I'm not out there painting and I'm coming down from my lift, people are engaging me, they are very curious, we talk about it, and uh, that's uh, such a very interesting because uh, it's, it's, it's not myself painting in my studio without nobody around. There is this interaction from the neighborhood and from people that just pass by. Yeah, and I think, uh... Well, unfortunately, sometimes, you know, all these graffitis, if they don't have an artistic purpose, can uh, uh, somehow pollute in the sense they can uh, spoil, unfortunately, uh, wonderful monuments and buildings. On the other hand, uh, I think that uh, uh, is uh, not only um, raising awareness on certain issues, but it's even uh, uh, the uh, uh, panorama, the, the scenery, the streets, because you're basically normally using walls are fall, you know, falling down in the sense that they are ruined, spoiled, meaningless, and you give a meaning to that and, and pay for the people who live in the nearby or walk in the streets, right? That's very true. Yeah, and for me, that's actually how I start uh, scouting uh, walls in New York, for instance. I was walking around and looking all these factory in the industrial neighborhoods, okay. and then uh, thinking like this wall just needs something. It's nice to just paint a mural here. So I was trying to figure it out who the owner was, knocking doors and ask permission. And uh, again, like uh, painting in that they need that the requalification in a way, at least visually, for the people to enjoy their way home, their way to the market, their way to, jo to, to their job. And uh, it does change a lot, yeah. an entire corner or neighborhood, uh, like with a great vitality, I think. That's great. So really well done. Congratulations for all. And, uh, uh, I know that you have also other projects that you've been involved in the world of uh, fashion and uh, furniture. And can you tell us a bit more about that? Maybe bring us some examples. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saying that because I'm wearing one of my shirts uh, today. It's so great, by the way. Okay. Thank you so much. For me, it's like uh, I've always been a polyedric artist. I always loved to use different materials to explore different directions. So for me, uh, approaching uh, textile and uh, approaching like design, that is one of my projects that I've been working on it, or carpet design, anything where I can translate, I use it as a vehicle to uh -huh. keep sending a message. So for me, is a way to keep uh, my art alive in different medium without any limitation. So what about, for example, these uh, uh, garments, these shirts? Uh, uh, what about the material? Uh, do you sell?
quantity because that's not my scope, uh, but uh, definitely I'm very careful on which kind of material I'm working on it, which kind of colors are being used to be to print on yeah. on the garment, for instance. And uh, this is made for, for example, with uh, the uh, and uh, uh, carve uh, uh, wood, wood, cut, wood cutting. Uh, so it's like an ancient techniques, all by ants, by a uh, small family. So I think like everything uh, is very contained and organic in terms of production. And so that's the way that I want to follow, that I try to follow. Mm -hmm. Well done. Well, uh, you know, we have spoken about it, that uh, uh, our organization uh, has developed uh, standards uh, under the Friend of the Earth certification uh, to certify textiles and fashion products uh, uh, which are produced in a sustainable way, respecting the environment and workers. So I really hope uh, that we can uh, work out the collaboration and, uh, and uh, com confirm and certify the origin and the uh, sustainable quality of your uh, products and uh, be able also to propose them here in our store in Galleria that uh, people in Milan and all the tourists that pass by can uh, uh, purchase it and have it uh, as their own because they are really um uh, art pieces so yeah uh, that's a word <laughs> thank you yeah thank you that would be a great value. pleasure great and, and that's the word because like uh that's uh exactly what i trying to do like spread art uh, and uh, idea of like uh also inspiring people and uh changing myself first and often uh, 